What's all this business about Goldbach levels? Within five minutes, I'm going to share with you the shocking truth behind the ICT turtle soup strategy. So what is the turtle soup strategy? Essentially, ICT says market makers like to engineer fake highs and fake lows, such as a session high or low. They send the price higher, which takes out everybody who is short, and it forces people to go long who like breakout trades, and then the market maker reverses price. So he's essentially saying, when price breaks an old high or low, you want to short this because reversals are key to the turtle soup strategy. I'm going to use a tool called Edgeful and three years worth of backtesting data for Forex and index futures to show you why this is an unprofitable strategy. Let's start with Forex first. It's a price action report. It's called the market session breakout. We want it for Euro USD for three years. And the breakout we're looking for is between London and New York. So essentially what Edgefall is calculating is when New York's price action breaks the high or low of London's session, are we more likely to have a continuation or is it more likely to break the other side of London as a turtle soup reversal? So let's have a look at the data. Three years worth of data, 76% of the time when New York breaks London's session high or session low, it's a single break, meaning it does not reverse to take the other side of London, i.e. you don't get a turtle soup, which means your win rate would be less than 25%. Let's run the numbers for index futures. So similarly, we're looking for a break of London's high or low during the New York session. 69% of the time, when New York breaks London's high or low, it does not reverse to take the other side of London, right? This is why the turtle soup strategy as presented by ICT is not a profitable strategy. Given this data, you can then create your own edge. So if the turtle soup strategy is unprofitable, then you can fade that strategy. So instead of looking for reversals when New York breaks London's high or low, instead you can look for a continuation. Okay, look for some kind of retracement, get in at some kind of discount level. You can have your stop loss below the low because 30% of the time it's not gonna touch this side and then you can look for a long. This is why Edgeful is so powerful. If you aren't a consistently profitable trader yet, you can use this data to find your own trading edge. And if you already have a powerful trading strategy, you can use the statistics in Edgeful to refine your strategy and increase your win rate. Edgeful provides you dozens of reports and you can access it for free using the link in the description to this video.